Hi guys, this is Agrinid from the Philippines and today we will be talking again about uh, all about my worms. So I'm using African night crawlers and this is my setup. So the previous video is about a uh, worm tower where I generate worm tea. Wherein in this setup, uh, we can also generate worm tea through this hole, through this uh, drainage where the liquid will be extracted. But you can also get uh, worm castings in this one because it is more dry compared to the worm tower. Uh, come on and uh, let's check out this uh, worm bin wherein we will just feed them. So this video is all about feeding the worms. Okay, so beforehand, we need to prepare these things. Um, this is uh, cardboards, shredded, shredded cardboards uh, to give carbon nutrients and in the digestion process or decomposition process and also eggshells, ground, grinded eggshells. So let's check this worm bin number one. So as you can see guys, in our worm bin number one, it is all already, there's already a lot of worm castings, like this one. And there's a lot of worm castings already, but it's not yet 100% uh, usable. It, it needs more time to be decomposed. So what we're gonna do is we'll just add more, uh, more food. So they can generate a lot of worm plastic so a quick look on how our worms are doing i'll just get some uh, this is our worms this is called african night crawlers native to asia asian countries Man. okay so what we're gonna do is we'll just dig a hole or a trench we'll make a trench uh you you want it to be as deep as possible but not so deep just enough for you to place your food their food rather so once we did that we we'll just get the carbon we we'll just get the carbon and place some some carbon on top okay and after that And after that, we will be placing the food. So this food uh, are all organic waste, which came from uh, the kitchen. Okay, so every time we eat some bananas, we take the banana peels and segregate it for my worms. So, so some we have here uh, sweet potatoes and some lemon or in the Philippines, a uh, native lemon called dayak. Okay. So after that, we'll just get uh, some amount and then place it there. So um, the food is not so big or there's not a lot of food because as you can see, there's already some undigested food right here and also this one. But um, as far as I can remember, there uh, I've placed a lot of food here. So already eaten a lot. <laughs> But not so much. So I'll just add a little, a little food. We'll just add some citrus. So maybe they need citrus and some fast food, sweet potato. Okay. Then after that, we'll just place some eggshells. Okay. So after this bin, we'll try to open again another bin. So just to see the comparison with other bins. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. We just place eggshells on top. And to top it off with another cardboard. Okay? So cardboard. So, since the moisture, uh, so since there's already some moisture right here, uh, I will not add water. But if it's dry, you can add water. Because worms need water more than food. So, once you're done placing their food, you will just place your their worm castings right there on top. To help them explore their new food. Okay? 
So once that's done, we'll just play. Uh, we'll just wait for another month or weeks. Once this is done, we'll just wait for a month or some weeks to check the progress. Okay. So come on, let's check the second bin. So this is our third bin. So it is actually one of the most performing bins that I have. Okay. So the moisture here is. Uh, seems nice it has a kind of dark color compared to the other one which is kind of brownish uh, but I have also placed here some un undigested coco peat and this is the status of my Everton night crawlers in this section so as you can see they are a lot bigger compared to the other one and this bin has a lot of worms compared to the other one so this is an und undigested food um, the top part of a banana where you get the peelings okay so we'll just leave it there so again we we'll just repeat the process we just dig some trench we'll just dig some trench like that okay so it's uh, already big enough and then we'll just get our carbon so this is our carbon for the cardboard After that, I think it's fine already. So after that, we'll just um, get another food. So it is very important when you feed your worms to not overfeed them. Because if you overfeed them, tendency is the, the worm bin gets too hot. And if it gets too hot, your worms uh, will be stressed out they don't want a very hot climate or temperature level so you just need to maintain it properly so after that we need we add the eggshells like this one place it on top again so guys eggshells uh, help in the composition process because the worms don't have teeth of their own so we need to add uh, amendments like grit uh, which can be found in eggshells. So once that's done, we'll just place again cardboard on top. Okay? Okay, so that's enough. And we'll just bury, bury the trench. Bury. We'll just bury the trench with some worm castings. So to help them discover that there's food in their territories. Okay? So once that's done, Every a few days, uh, you'll just check if the condition is okay for the worm since you added uh, more food. But if it's not, uh, you can check it. So next video, maybe I'll post some videos. Uh, our topic will be talking about um, the common problems you face when um, eating, when you are feeding your worms. Okay? But for now, this video is all about... For now, this video is all about um, feeding your compost worms. So once again, guys, this is Agrid from Philippines. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can click uh, the subscribe button. And be sure to check also our video shorts in YouTube because uh, there, that's just one minute video and you can learn a lot. Okay? See you again. Bye-bye.